I'm going to show you how to change the canister purge valve on a Jaguar XK8. This is the front left wheel well of the car, and the symptom of a bad pan canister purge valve is a, uh, a clicking sound from the front left wheel well and a gas smell from the left side of the car. Um, it's really simple to change. You have to take the wheel well liner out first. I did another video on how to do that. It takes about three minutes to remove the wheel well liner after you have the wheel off. Um, so that's pretty simple. Now the next thing is there's two um, there's two fuel lines, actually they're fuel vent lines. One of them is up here and it's got two little blue tabs, one on the top and one on the bottom. And if you pinch it, that comes off. And then the other one is right down here. It's a little bit more difficult to remove, but you just got to grab it with some pliers. There's a there's a, a white piece on the bottom side of it that you can pinch inward and maybe I just haven't been able to do it without without the pliers. You gotta get it you gotta pinch it pretty far. So grab it with the pliers, push up that little white piece on the bottom, and kind of jiggle it. And it should come right off. And there it goes. So, so that's off. And then there's an electro electrical connector right here. If you just pinch it on the top and the bottom, it'll come right off. So I've got the three connections off. And then the next thing is uh, there's a T30 Torx screw right here. That comes out. And then up here on the top there's a 10 millimeter 10 millimeter nut. And then once you got that nut off, this whole thing will just pop out of here. The entire assembly comes out. Oh, I forgot about this. There's a little connection that holds the, uh, the harness in place. Just squeeze that with some pliers and push it through the hole. Oops. And the whole thing comes out. And the the actual valve itself is inside this, uh, it's like a, a rubber foam coating. Um, and I guess that's just to insulate the uh, car from the sound of it. But um, once you've got the entire assembly removed, um, there's a little spring clip right here. I'm not going to remove it right now, but it's pretty obvious how to do it. There's a little spring clip here on the bottom, and I guess that's it. You pull out that spring clip, take the valve out, put the new one on, and put everything back together. Whole, whole job should probably take five minutes.